hello everybody good morning welcome to the vlog so today by the way i'm just three kids a husband i vlog our life over here on our channel we would love we'd love to have you subscribe and join us every single day i post a video 7 a.m eastern standard time video will go up for me so we are headed right now it is 7 49 we're doing really good our goal is eight o'clock it's 7 49 we're all loaded in the car and we are headed for spring break we're gonna go see nani and poppy for spring break my mom and dad david is right here he's getting ready to head to arkansas we have the car loaded down we have suitcases we have pillows we have snacks we have dog a dog layla's in the in the kennel in the trunk we have my computer my desktop computer we are loaded down i have my coffee I, we will in just a second nate so we have about a seven hour drive of course that doesn't even include stops so it's going to be an all-day event so i thought you guys would like to come with me see our trip is everybody excited yeah what's your most excited part Millie. getting to see your cousin marky are you excited and, Wilson and emma nate are you excited marky are you excited where are you going? I wish we can I see all the park. No, we're not going to. Can I go to the park? I don't think she. I want to take it off. Yes. Oh, okay, it's already. It's already. We're having left the driveway, and I'm already kind of stressed out. All right, we're headed. We're headed to Nani and Poppy's house. We'll see you guys along the way. Don't take off your seatbelt. you guys the trip is going actually really smooth um we are about halfway almost halfway mark eagle potty we're stopping where we normally stop um but it's not quite lunch time they're not serving lunch so we're just going to go where i'm getting gas right now at sam's and we're going to go to chick-fil-a just to go potty it's a really clean and easy place to get in and out of and then i have a bunch of snacks i'm going to feed this kids some snacks until we can get to hopefully we'll find another chick-fil-a that has uh that by the time lunch is being served so what's wrong you're mad at your socks the kids have done so well so far david got to ride along with us he he split off from us about an hour and a half in to go the other direction but um it was good to kind of ride along with him for a little while um mark is starting to get whiny i think he's about ready for a nap I love to stop at get gas at Sam's. It's so much cheaper. And then you can just pay on your phone. It's really cool how they have the fuel and go or whatever. So anyway, we're doing super well. I think everybody needs a bathroom break and a snack break. And then, um, like I said, we'll stop and get lunch closer to time. We left at 8 o'clock our time, which is 7 o'clock central time. So even though we're like, it's like 9.30 right now central time, but we've been in the car two and a half hours. So... They're, they've done really well. So we're getting close to the to halfway mark. About another 30 minutes or so to be about halfway. So we've done really, really good. I drank my black coffee, so I really have to go to the bathroom too. And I've been listening to my Crime Weekly podcast, which has been so good. And it helps time go by a lot faster too. So I also have an audio book downloaded. Um, I forget which one it is. Uh, but it's with, uh, it's of course a Freedom McFadden book. And I just clicked on one. I don't even know what, I don't remember the title of it. So I can always start that too. But right now I'm enjoying my podcast and um, that's all we're doing. for mom and dad's house we have hit so much traffic it is one o'clock alabama time so two o'clock to our our bodies and we still are just now stopping for lunch the kids have done so good but it is very late for them to have lunch so we're almost to the front at chick-fil-a and we're gonna hopefully be home very soon it's been kind of crazy i'll tell you all about it later you guys we are just getting off the exit i'm at a red light um almost eight hours it took us almost eight hours um we only stopped once to go to the bathroom 
wants to get fast food, eat it in the car, and go to the bathroom. And we just ran into so much traffic. Part of the interstate was shut down, and they had to detour us around. That took forever. That probably added an hour. But the kids did so good. You guys happy to be here? We're only about five minutes from Nani and Poppy. We have so much to unload. But anyway, they did really good. I am really tired. My contacts are like dried onto my eyeballs. But <laughs> I'm going to call David and tell him that we're here. He should already be in Arkansas because he didn't have children. He did his trip a lot faster. So I'll see you guys at Mom and Dad's. Yeah. <laughs> you help me go on my stuff so you don't have to in the It's Emma! Here, take away, love. She's all the way back. Black car, a white car, a jeep, and a garbage truck. You mean to open them for me? But we, but we, look at Nani's. We share Nani's trips and cars. Yes, ma'am? Yes, 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 Mark, you have to... <laughs> all right you guys so i feel like i haven't vlogged that much um since being a mom and dad's we've just been kind of hanging out letting the kids play so if you don't know i have a niece who's 13 and then i have a niece who is nine days older than lucy so they're like joined at the hip and then i have a nephew who is four and a half months younger than Mark. So we have the little girl group and the little boy group and it's always so fun <laughs> um, to watch them play and they're actually doing a lot better this trip than at Christmas. The last time we were here was Christmas and they were like at the mine, 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 mine fighting stage. And so um, actually they're actually doing a lot better sharing. I mean they still have their moments but Anyway, we just got everybody laying down and I'm here with Layla. Normally when I come to mom and dad's, I don't bring Layla unless David comes too. Usually he stays at home with her, but because of the circumstances, she's here. And I love like sleeping with Layla is like my favorite thing. <laughs> she's so cuddly and I'm starting to get a headache. And I think it's just all the stress that we've been having. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments tonight, some curious some hateful and so it's very rare for me I don't normally get a lot of hate comments and so this is just first I'm going to explain a few things and then I'm going to kind of do a PSA um a lot of you are wondering which I feel like I've talked about this but maybe I didn't do a good job why I'm not going with David this weekend I think that's what you're wondering like why we're spending spring break with my mom and dad's people keep saying, why are you taking a vacation when you have all of this stuff going on? First of all, I'm not really taking a vacation. I'm visiting my mom and dad. Um, it's our kids spring break. There's literally, I think you guys are confused that we have like all of this stuff to do. Our house is under contract. So there's nothing really to do at in Indiana besides just sit around and look at each other. Um, David is commuting every weekend to Arkansas and we have zero houses open in Arkansas to look at. I think a lot of you thought like, well, why don't you go and look at houses? There are no houses. We've really got to pray hard that some houses open up. There are no houses right now. Now, when we first started looking, there was a bunch that were in our price range and the space we needed and all of that right now. There's nothing. <laughs> there's some there's some that are in our price range that aren't quite right. Like they like we we need three bedrooms. I mean, we need four bedrooms. Like it's a must because of different and I know people are gonna say, well, you could get by with three. Anyway, we really do need four because we have a special needs son. We don't have kids very close in age that are the same gender. They're getting bigger. We, I, I'm okay if they're small bedrooms, but we need four bedrooms. And I'm not going to compromise on that. Um, and I don't have to explain that. <laughs> it's just what we need. Um, and I'm willing to like, you know, I, I know that God's going to open up the right door. I'm willing to be patient and let him work. Um, David actually looked at two houses today that we weren't even sold on. Like we just were like curious about. He literally walked in and walked right out because they were not right. Um, we're not super picky. It's just if we're going to, we're not going to buy a house we don't love. Um, you know, and we're pretty easy to fall in love with a house. It just hasn't come open yet. Um, 
So there's really nothing for us to do in Arkansas. We don't have a house or place to stay there. Our church is under renovations. It wouldn't even be safe for our kids to really be in there with all the construction going on. There's nothing really for it. David doesn't even have an office there. So on the weekends, he goes there and he preaches, and then he works from home the rest of the week. So instead of him working from home this next week, he's going to be working from here, from my mom and dad's house. And it's just going to be great that we can see him while the kids are on spring break, because normally they're at school, and he only gets to see them a little bit at night before they go to bed, and then he's gone on the weekends. So that's kind of why. And also, so people are wondering why... Uh, we didn't just leave the kids with my mom and dad and then me go with him this weekend. I don't know if you guys know this, but my mom and dad live far. Like, I don't know how I would get the kids to them and then drive. Like, it would be it would be crazy. So, um, this is the arrangement that we've worked out. Everybody's cool with it. So, I don't know why people are so upset in the comments about it. It's just been kind of crazy. Okay, so... I am fine with curious comments. I am fine with answering questions. I feel like I'm a pretty open book, but I will say um, I'm going to have to get stricter with the comments. If there are hateful comments, I want my channel to be a positive space. And the hateful comments and the mean comments are just going to have to stop. Normally, I just try to ignore them or like try to answer back or clarify things, but it just doesn't work. And then... Um, a lot of you may also be wondering, well, I didn't see any hateful comments. Well, that's probably because I blocked them before you saw them. <laughs> I have pretty strong filters up and I also check my comments regularly. So if I see hateful comments, I will block the hateful comments because people have the opinion on YouTube. And this is what I want you to know. If you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, people will say, well, if you do YouTube, then you, you, you need to expect this. You just need to accept that people are going to have an opinion and they have a right to their opinion. Yeah, you have a right to your opinion, but I also have a right to my space and I'm not going to allow hateful stuff in my space. I'm not, it's fine if you disagree with me in a constructive way, that's fine. I'm 36 years old. I can take it. But if you're going to start attacking my family and our character and all of that, like you just need to find another channel, you know, like if you don't like us and you don't agree with us, just watch someone else. There are so many people on YouTube, you know, so just a little PSA in, and this is what I want to say. <laughs> My head hurts so bad. That's not what I want to say, but it does. Um, I just feel like, have you ever felt like everything's going so well and then you hit like a roadblock and it just feels like everything is going so badly? <laughs> um, I really feel like that's the enemy. You know, we were, we, our house is under contract. We have this awesome job, this awesome church family. I mean, we are so excited about what God is doing in our life. And then we have all of this drama with this house contingency that we're, I'm actually really nervous about the video that's going to go up tomorrow because I talk all about them not letting us out of our contingency offer. It's illegal what they're doing. And I'm sure people are going to have something to say about it, but I'm really just trying to be honest with my life and show you guys real life. I try to show the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it just feels like the last few days have been really, like, it just been really intense between we have been dealing with these sellers for five or six days now. And um, legally in our contract, we've had everyone look at it. It says we're allowed to back out if we don't like the inspection. And they're just refusing to sign it and let us out, which is illegal. And I'm not sure how they can do that, but they're just doing it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> um, it's very strange. And like I said, no one that we've talked to has ever even heard of this happening. Um, and then all tonight with the comments, like, I can't believe something as simple as me visiting my family started so much drama. And I just think the enemy uses anything he can to get us distracted with what we're doing. So this is an encouragement to you. I don't know if you can relate at all, but if you are doing something and you feel called to do it, the enemy is going to come against it. And, um, you just have to hold tight. It says that God is our defender and he will defend you. Um, we've been praying, you know, should we get a lawyer in, involved with this house thing? Um, because on Google, when I found similar instances of people in different parts of the country, they say that if they are, if you send a letter by a lawyer, then, um, a lot of times they'll go ahead and sign it real quick. <laughs> 
but we really, we want to leave room to let God defend us. And, you know, it's the same thing with YouTube. I really usually don't defend myself because it just usually stirs up more drama. But at the same time, I also want to protect all of you that are reading the comments and I want to keep this space a happy, positive space. So anyway, that's just, it's not but a fun evening in terms of lip reading comments and, um, like I, like I've told you guys before, and I think like 99% of you get this, um, you see 10 to 20 minutes of my day. I don't tell you like every single thing that's going on in my life. I don't tell you every single reason why I'm not doing a certain thing or we're doing this this way or whatever. The people take, like they think they know better than us who are living our life. It's just really weird. And it's really hard um, to wrap my head around. <laughs> but anyway, I know like so many of you are so supportive. Like most of you are so supportive. And like I said, I don't have a problem with like just wondering or, but it's the people who, um, are just so hateful. Like we can't be doing that. It, we just can't be doing that over here. <laughs> this is a happy space. This is happy, happy time. <laughs> so look, if you, if you are any doubt to how you should like in the night. Look at this. This is my girl. She's had a very long day, y'all. She's had a long day. Mark was just loving all over her tonight, and the look in her face was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so anyway, I am going to get this video edited. I brought my whole setup from home. I've got my big desktop computer down here. I'm going to get this place, get this place. I'm going to get this video set up for, to go up on Monday. I love you guys so much. And I only share my life because I've connected with so many of you. I want to share the good, bad, the ugly. I want to share when things are crazy. I want to share when things are good. I want, I want to share my life and I want you to know that life isn't always good. You're going to go through hard times. You're going to go through things that are meant to make you stronger. But at the same time, you do have to have boundaries in your life and you do have to, you know, make a line in the sand and be like, you know what, I'm not going to be talked to like this. And um, I think that's a good thing, you know. So I love you guys. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I know.